Okay, so if you have a Google Classroom, you are going to be better off in your school year because you can have all your lessons in your Google Classroom, but you can also have links where kids can just click on the link and go to the programs that you would like them to be. So what I like to do is I like to check in with my students in the morning. So when they come in, they'll hear my announcements. Uh, they'll hear my announcements on a loop. And if you didn't see that video, just check out the link that's on top of the screen. Once I greet them at the door, they come inside the classroom and they listen to the announcements on a loop. And they know to go to the computers or devices and to log into their Google Classroom account. And on that account, I ask them a question. And I usually ask, how are they feeling? How are you doing? What's going on? And for the answer, I don't have them type it out because I feel like that could just get carried away. Instead, I create answers. So how are you feeling? Great. And ready to work? I can say tired and I need a minute or two. I need to with you. So I try to give my students a couple of options to answer and, you know, something that I know that will allow me to check in with them and, you know, give great ready to work. Well, I'll check on them a little bit later throughout the day because they're ready. They came in, they're going to their assignments, they're listening to the announcements. I'm not going to really need to worry about checking in with them right away and tired and I need a minute or two, well, I'm not going to push some of the kids right away. But if I notice that they're taking a little bit longer, then they will need to have a conversation with me. I need to speak with you right there. I know I have to target those kids and talk to them and kind of see what's going on. If it's an emergency, if they need to tell me something, or maybe they just want to be able to tell me how their day was yesterday or their morning. After the announcements, I would go to the Google Classroom dashboard. So once I see that the majority of students have turned in their assignments, what I look at is I see that 22 of my students have turned it in. And the first answer I gave was I need a few minutes before working. So that means, you know, the student just needs a little time to kind of gather their thoughts just to be ready to work. And I only had one student that felt that way. And then I feel great and ready to work. Well, a majority of my class felt good that morning, and they just were ready to work as soon as they got into my classroom. And then nobody put down, I need to talk to you, Mr. Rush. But looking at this, just looking at this data here, I can see that I need to check in with one student and just say, hey, what's going on? How are you feeling? Um, how was your morning? I can just check in with that student real quick. Uh, one, because I have a majority of my students that are ready to work. And when I see that, that means I could just check in with them throughout the day. Um, but when I see one or a few students in this area or even on the bottom, I need to talk to you, Mr. Rush. I need to check with them right away. I need to see what's going on. I need to see if they need other support. And this year, I, I've noticed a, a huge difference in how my class is coming in and they seem to appreciate that I want to know how they're feeling. So this really works well and I think this will just help your class in classroom management but also building that relationship with your students that is needed to have a successful year.